Hey guys, it's Jan, Not A Real Farm. So this weekend, of course, is our Thanksgiving weekend, but I thought I'd take you through the greenhouse really quickly to show you that everything is actually doing super awesome in here. Uh, it's only 55 degrees outside, so it's fairly chilly. I've got to do the whole sweater thing all over again today. It's been raining for the last three days, so everything outside is soaked. Inside, everything is looking wonderful. We've got potatoes, we've got kale. Uh, my Prime Arc blackberries are doing amazing. Um, they, they've actually shot up quite a bit in the last month or so. Um, and I also have a hybrid, a couple of hybrid cucumbers that have decided to poke through. So these are a 42 day cucumber. I don't know if I have 42 days, maybe, we'll see. But I just wanted to show everybody how the greenhouse is still sort of you know, weathering the chilly weather on the outside because we've had no sun. Over here, what I've done is I've cleaned up the tomatoes actually quite a bit. I did my video on the monster tomato roots that I had for my sweet, uh, my little sweet cherry tomatoes. So in here, I've got a whole boatload of oregano that decided it wanted to take. So I'm gonna be obviously harvesting that. Um, I've got some Primark sort of hidden behind here and the cherry tomatoes and everything else are doing wonderful still. So. These are my pepper plants have turned into trees. It's it's something else. Nothing is affected in here. Everything is actually doing a little bit better now that it's a little bit cooler on the inside of the greenhouse. Of course, when that happens, the watering is less too. I'm just going to flip around to the other side. So the bed in front of me, this is where my sweet potatoes used to be. We have, of course, the new tomatoes that have decided they're coming up very nicely. I've got uh, butter crunch, lettuce, that is coming up. There's some weeds in here, but I can see obviously which ones are which. And then basically going through it, we've got cilantro. We've got, I even threw in some hybrid cauliflower and, and we also have some beans back there that have just started to put on their flowers. So that's great. It means I'll get a bean crop before everything is done. Over here, you guys can see the tomatoes are still doing their thing. I still have to get in here and do some harvesting, but I still have quite a fair amount of tomatoes in the greenhouse here to pick. So the cold on the outside is not really affecting what's happening on the inside here. I'm still getting plenty of crop that I need to put away. And considering that, you know, it's the 11th of October, that's pretty good. And you can see the size of the tomatoes. Oops. You can see the size of the tomatoes actually in the bushes here, and they're not small. So here in this bed, which is where the cantaloupe is just starting to form, there's my other two cantaloupe on the floor, I'm getting actual tomatoes that have already put on. So these are the white tomatoes, guys. I don't know if you can see there, but I've actually got quite a few white tomatoes that are beginning to form on the stems here and lots of blossoms. So that's good. Um, don't really know if we're gonna get them to turn you know, actually white, they might stay green, but hey, it was an experiment. Let's see how far we can go with this. And of course here guys is sort of our purple snacking pepper that is absolutely happy. He's still putting on quite a bit of peppers. Um, we'll be able to pick these pretty soon. I love the color of these. He's very happy in here. And of course my Mexican chili peppers. I could pick these now if I wanted to, but I think what I'm going to do is just wait until they turn red. But I'm gonna take you to the outside garden. I wanna show you something. So guys, we're out in the strawberry patch and I just wanted to show you that the strawberries have put on for a secondary time. I've showed you that in the last video, but I wanna show you some of the sizes that these strawberries have. Look at the beautiful size of the strawberries. You know, and it's not one, it's not two, it's four, five. I've got some basil sort of hidden in here. Look at the size. Look at the size of these guys. It's just crazy. I wasn't expecting another um, crop out of these. So this is actually a really pleasant surprise. There's one actually here I can pick. Take a look at that guy. It cooled off. And then all of a sudden, my plants started breaking out into all these different strawberries. Multiple, multiple berries. Look at the size of these. I'm going to say partly due to happy soil, but I'm going to get 
a substantial amount of strawberry crop. I'm really happy about this. I mean, it's beautiful. And it's all the way down. So I guess the gift this year really is a couple, ooh, look at this one, is strawberries for Thanksgiving. I mean, these are wonderful. This one down here. A couple of these will be ready to pick actually in a day or two. It's beautiful. It's, I love all the surprises sometimes your garden gives you when you're not expecting it. Multiple strawberries here. So guys, this turned out to be a really great success. Um, I'm really happy that I put these in the bed outside. Like I said, I wasn't expecting a secondary crop, but it looks like I'll be getting that before we hit any frost. So I just wanted to show you that. And I'm gonna move over to the next bed so you can see how great uh, the carrots and the beets and everything are growing. So this is my bed of cold hardy greens and I don't know if I took you, you know, through here for the last couple of weeks, but we've got a bed of carrots, beets, my bean plants are sort of on the edge here and uh, we've got onions. Now my onions, as you can tell, are starting to go right to flower. That doesn't mean I can't use them. The beans are doing wonderful. They're putting on a nice size. Some of them actually in the bed next to me are, are flowering, so this is good. So all of these vegetables in here, the beets, the carrots, uh, the beans, and, and the onions, these are all hybrids. So when I put these in the bed, they were a 42 to 50 day hybrid. Um, if I don't end up getting uh, beets or anything, I'll just take the greens and I'll use the greens. But guys, so far, it's looking pretty healthy and good. And I definitely don't need to water. <laughs> the other surprise here as well is these tomatoes that I was going to leave and see if they would develop and turn red are now starting to put on a little bit of color. Um, there was a few actually I had to pick. Oh, here we go. They're starting to cat face a little bit because it's cold, but they're starting to turn out here, which means I will get another tomato crop or half of a tomato crop I'll take it uh, before the winter kicks in and I just wanted to go in here and show you I pulled out some of the bushes but look at the size of these tomatoes in here outside in this bed and they take up my whole hand so I'm gonna leave them in there because the temperatures are not down to freezing uh, for the next couple of weeks we're still getting double digit temperatures in terms of heat so we're going to leave it and we're going to see if we can really get a bigger crop I'm going to go up here and see if I have any I want to see if I have any radishes because I planted a whole bunch of radishes but I haven't checked got some flea beetle damage here still I still can't believe they're still out um, you know and a week ago a deer decided that he was going to push his head through and eat the whole entire Swiss chard he, it was a huge patch and he ate it all the way down, but it's Swiss so chard's one of those things that you can't kill. It's just like a weed. But here, let's see if we've got any. I think we've actually got a little bit of tiny little radishes here. Oh yeah, here we go. Guys, I'm freezing out here this morning. The wind is blowing. What else we got in here? Let's see. Oh yeah, so the radishes are starting to put on, so that's good. Not bad. I just I need to leave them in a little bit longer, let them get bigger, but we'll take this up and we'll eat it fresh because radishes actually help with heartburn. I don't know if anybody's tried radishes when they have a bout, big bout of heartburn, but um, you eat a radish and I'm going to say about hmm, 10 to 15 minutes later, your heartburn is gone. So we grow quite a bit of radishes here. And I also have carrots, of course, growing. And of course, here's the beans that are finally starting to flower and do their thing. So I just wanted to share my Thanksgiving blessings with you today. Looks like I'm going to get a little bit more crop before I have to call it quits outside. And inside, of course, in the greenhouse is doing fabulous. You know, we've got our spinach going on here. And of course, I've got more celery. So celery is happy. It's not too hot now, so it'll, it'll probably do good. And if, I, if it can't get tall, then I'll just cut it like a green. 
Oh, I got a really big radish over there that I got to get. Let's go to the other side. Here's the radish. I just want to pull this radish and see how big it is. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. That's pretty good. So I got three radishes this morning. I'm freezing. I'm going to go back in, but uh, just wanted to share this morning, like I said with you guys, just how our crops are growing out here. The cold weather crops are doing amazing. The strawberries are amazing. Now I have to go through and I have to thin out my carrots. But other than that, everything is going great. So for all my Canadian subscribers, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving. And to all my subscribers in general, you're amazing. Thank you so much for subscribing and, and actually showing support. I love it. Guys, if you can give a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And hopefully subscribe if you haven't. And see you soon.